The South African Jazz and Health Alliance is an organization that was established about five years ago, coming into fruition now with this inaugural camp in, we were having here at the University of Johannesburg, of Johannesburg. I am basically, I could say, the brainchild behind it, but I work with colleagues who have long histories in the jazz environment. I have myself a long history in the health environment. I'm just beginning to get into jazz now, and I was seeking, I seek for an avenue that can combine both of them, hence the formation of the South African Jazz and Health Alliance. The Alliance is actually seeking to make good citizens of young, talented South Africans particularly those from needy backgrounds, from poor backgrounds. We find that there's a wealth of talent, especially in the so-called township, but we want those kids to create long biographies for themselves by living long and healthy lives and therefore contributing their talents to society so it feeds society broadly. We are finding that most of the talented people are struggling to live long, healthy lives for various reasons. Some of them internal due to their own weaknesses, but the majority of cases is external forces and we're seeking to make them be aware of those things and also know how to deal with them. It's mainly a prevention for sustainability kind of program, especially for those kids who are talented in music, jazz music in particular. It's, it's about physical and mental health. Some kids you find that they grow in families that are broken, and some of them are exposed genetically to these kinds of diseases, and they can't just help it themselves. And they're in their communities where they come from, the support systems are not strong enough, and knowledge about these things is not at the level that it's supposed to be. Those are mainly the, the internal factors. Externally, yes, I mentioned the family, I mentioned communities, and generally where we come from as a society, South Africans. You know, here we've been talking about post-traumatic stress syndrome. A long course was given to the kids about that. What is trauma? What is post-traumatic stress disease? This, the, the history that we come from as a country, particularly affecting those who have been previously disadvantaged. You find that most of these kids are in that kind of situation. So we're making them aware of how to identify the symptoms of that and also where to find, the, where they can find help to deal with it. From the mental health perspective, it's, it's trauma and post-traumatic stress disease, it's anxiety and depression, it's substance abuse, it's bullying, it's, it's suicide, it's also what they call self-injury. Self that doesn't, it's not the same thing as suicide. You find some people, because they are struggling with something internally, they can't accept it, so they need to see some injury, they tend to cut themselves, the self-cuts. When they see blood, for instance, they can point to that thing as the problem that they're ex experiencing. There's a, lot, there's a lot of that that's happening. It's not able, being able to address what is internally uh, eating you up and you want to point to something that you can say, oh, the problem is this, that cut, that. And when the cut goes away, you find that those people go ahead and, and cut themselves again. It's those kinds of, of mental disorders that you address. For the, the kids were excited, the, the campers, in fact, when uh, we talked them through diseases like diabetes, we measured their high blood pressure, we measured their sugar levels, 
We measured their circumferences in, in, in the waist, their height, calculated their body mass index. It was a very exciting pro uh, program, some of them beginning to know exactly where they stand on those kinds of issues. They can now go back to make sure that they live long, healthy lives. Mo most of them we are finding are healthy because that they are younger, they're in the younger age group. We have an intense program, an exciting program also for physical activity. St we started downstairs here doing physical activity. There's a, they, we have a good physical uh, uh, fitness instructor. We used the gym at the UJ, the gym at the UJ. They were fascinated. Some of them are seeing some of the equipment for the first time, you won't believe. And some of, uh, they, they like to be part of that gym as well. So 6 a.m. gym starts, 7 a.m. is breakfast, 8 a.m. is the music program, intermixed with some of the, the courses from the physical and, and mental health side. You needed someone, without blowing my own horn, who thinks that kind of way. You know, I've worked in, in the HIV and AIDS arena in the country for a long time. In my view, people are not just sick, give them medicines and, and, and all is well and fine. People live in communities and people live in societies that predispose themselves to some of these things. So that kind of background and understanding of the factors that get into play, predisposing people to these kinds of things, you need someone who understands that. And as I began, I, I, I come from a musical family. I'm the granddaughter of the great BJB Chamsashi. And we've always had music in my family. And now that I've, I'm finding time to get into the music field, I'm, find, I, I'm, I'm looking at synergies between good health and music. And they just, it's, it's just a, a nice virtuous, virtuous cycle that I'm finding they're discovering. Perhaps you're asking, you're asking a question, why only now? You, you just need someone who understands all of those things, all of those perspectives that come into play. And at this point, I happen to be the one. You know, when, I, when we thought about this camp, this camp has actually exceeded my expectation. And I have to say, it's, it's not because of what I myself did only. It's because of the, the, the friends I have made, the people I have worked with. I'm new in the music field and, and happen to have friends there, someone who knows someone. For instance, if you have Kaya Machango conducting the whole orchestra work, of these kids. And you have different schools of music in, the different, in different areas in the province. So I, I was fortunate to find those kinds of people and me coming in with my own strength into it to make it happen. So I was lucky in that way to, to, to see it off. The plan is to expand in many dimensions, in many levels, expand in the province, expand in the country. There's a lot of beautiful African music in the region, the Sardiac region, for instance. We're going to be taking this thing internationally. I can see that. The, the, the talent that I discovered in these kids, it, it really astounded me. And I think that there's a lot of it out there. And, and I'm putting all of my energies into it to expand, as I say, deeply, broadly, in every other way possible.